Hello, my name's Richard. I'm the install manager from a company in Macclesfield called Solarcrest. We specialise in renewables and today I'd like to introduce one of our best selling machines which is called an Airflow DV145 Adroit. It's an MVHR, Mechanical Ventilation Heat Recovery System. Now it's one of the best on the market and uh, like I said, one of our best sellers. And today I'd just like us to look at an inst one of our installs which we did in Leicestershire. Now this was a job which I did myself, uh, me and one other lad, and uh, it took us about three days to, to carry out the entire install. This area here is the, the plant area which is where most of the work happens and the most important elements which we are going to just briefly have a look at. So I'd like to start just by looking at what we call the atmosphere duct in here. Now these ducts are about 1.2 meters apart. Best practice is to keep these about 1.2 meters apart so we don't get any cross contamination of airflow. And it's also very important that they fall down to the machine so no water collects in, in reservoirs so that means no U-bends. We can go up and over but we can't create U-bends like going down and then back up. But the best practice is to create a small fall to the unit so any moisture which collects inside the ducts will just drop into the unit into a reservoir and then out through the condensate drain and out through to, uh, to, to foul. So that's the way that we manage the moisture. It's important as well that these ducts are of an insulative material and these are made by a company called Ubink and they're made from polyurethane and we, we use these because it, it's very very easy to work with you can you can cut it quite easily the clamps are, are very very good similar material to uh, what pipe lagging is made from the what plumbers use to insulate copper pipes yeah so this this duct in here is 180 millimeters diameter internal so we've got plenty of airflow through these into the machine you can also see that we use the same duct when connecting to our distribution manifolds here. So we've got the ducting which comes up and over. This is the supply and the extract legs which come into the su supply and extract distribution manifolds. These manifolds again are made by Airflow. They're called Airflex Pro and the ducting is also called Airflex Pro. Uh, these are sound insulated manifolds and also for thermal really really good bits of kit. They split the airflow into 15 sections so we've got one big duct coming in and then 15 small ports coming out. They also come these manifolds 10 port and 6 port if it's a smaller job. But here on this you can see they are 15 port manifolds. You get the option to blank off or use these spigots on the side. So you get different many orientations. You can do a combination of spigots coming out of the side or coming out of the end but on this job they all come out of the end and you can see they're in a nice neat orderly line. This ducting here, this red what we call radial airflex semi-rigid ducting goes off to all the different rooms in the house. Generally there is um, a valve or a duct to every single room. So we've got um, on this one this front manifold here is the extract manifold and the one at the back is the supply manifold. As you can see again, I just referred to this earlier as the condensate drain. This is connected underneath there, there's a little trap and then there's a slight fall and this pipe runs to the soil pipe somewhere, which uh, isn't yet installed on this job but will be. The power rating of this machine is 13 amps so we just want to um, a radial coming from the consumer unit straight up own independent supply um, we can just put a 2.5 millimeter cable in there put a 16 amp breaker on it and uh, just connect to a, a switch fuse spur or simply plug the machine in we recommend a fuse spur then it won't get tampered with or could come unplugged also we need to get a data cable up to this machine or if anybody wants manual boost switches they can run just a, a two core cable up to some volt free switching which is in, going to be connected inside this box but um, anybody who's responsible for the internet connection if you just run 
an internet cable, Cat5 or Cat6, make sure it's terminated and then it plugs into a, a female RJ45 socket on top of the unit. So yeah, this this install is um, <clears throat> it's not actually commissioned yet, but I'll be going back there, no doubt, in a, in a few months. So let's just have a further look at this machine and what it's about. Let's just explore what's what's inside it. Okay, so here is um, a blown up version of um, what's inside the DV145 Adroit. See the main the main um, piece of kit which you can see straight away is the plate heat exchanger inside here, and it's a very very um, basic but clever piece of kit where we've got the the outgoing air which is moist and warm warms up the incoming air which is cool so there's a 95 percent heat exchange there so the incoming fresh air is warmed up by the outgoing stale air and this is going on 24 7 all the time we've got filters uh, we've got filter there which is filtering the the air coming out of the property and uh, protecting the fans and also protecting the heat exchanger we've got a pre-filter up top there number six then we've got the fine f7 filter now this airflow has got really really good filters it's got a f7 pollen filter and uh, filters the the pm 2.5 really effectively yeah so this is what, what if you're looking for quality in air air freshness then the, uh, the DV145 is one of the units to strongly consider. We've got various, we've got two fans in here as well. There's a supply fan and an extract fan. The, the machine manages the humidity automatically which is really 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 good and uh, gives peace of mind. We've got up there there's a little um, what I call a pressure switch. Sometimes this can cause problems when the, the door uh, has got a little peg on it which must align with that pressure sensor and if it doesn't the unit won't start. I remember a few times I was scratching my head what on earth's up with this unit until I figured that in transit it had got bent and then uh, I managed to uh, clock what was going on. It was slightly just misaligned and I straightened it and yeah it started working again so that's something to uh, to check. Yeah there's optional um, post heaters and preheaters in these machines sometimes we're recommended not so much if we're really down on the south coast or in London where there's not much frost these days so uh, if you're in a colder climate then we may recommend the uh, the post or the, the pre the preheater yeah it's a really really clever bit of kit underneath there that I haven't numbered is that there's a condensate trap which I referred to earlier uh, this unit comes with like a little vessel which you connect on the underside and then comes with a little connection which enables you to get to uh, 21.5 standard overflow pipe which we uh, run to the nearest drain and yeah so now let's just have a quick look well, we can't see the unit on top there but if you imagine looking at the unit from above over here we've got the terminals which are listed and this unit like I've identified here is a right hand unit so number one is the, the supply air to the apartment or the supply air to the house. Now this is going to the bedrooms and to the living rooms delivering fresh quality air to the occupants and um, while, even while we're sleeping at night we can guarantee that we're getting that quality air in the bedrooms. I think it's important that we supply air to the bedrooms especially for those who have got allergies that we can uh, give them a good quality of air during their sleeping hours. And we've got number two which is exhaust air from the apartment. This is the stale air from the bathrooms, cooking, smells that are created, um, rooms where there's a lot of activity. It can be cleaning, drying, um, showering, bathing, yeah, and even exercising in um, home gyms. All that moisture and all that heat is taken out to be recovered by this incoming air here. Okay, so we've got now number three, the exhaust air out. Now this is the air which goes out through the exhaust vent, which is either going to be on the roof or on a wall. This is constantly taking stale air out. Okay, so we've got number four now, which is the intake. Now this intake is constantly pulling in um, fresh air from outside. 
And if it has got little uh, bits of pollen in it, it gets filtered out by this three and obviously number six as well, the pre-filter for bigger particles. So we can guarantee that the air coming in is always fresh within the properties, always fresh um, oxygenated air rather than breathing in stagnant air with this. It's got all kind of nasties in it. MVHR is really, really good for, for well-being and enhances the quality of life for, for all occupants. You only really realise it when you've uh, when you've had one of these systems in your house. And every time I go into a house which has got MVHR, I'm, I know straight away you know, that, that the air quality is good. You can sense that after a while. And then when you go in houses that don't have it, you know, you just feel this sense of heaviness and a uh, sense of, uh, that, you know, sometimes you can feel a little bit dizzy with it. Well, it's one of these things, once you realise um, air quality from MVHR, you know, you never really, you want to go back. So, the Airflow DV145 Adroit. Um, this is, like I said, is, is one of our best-selling machines. And I uh, hope you really give it some strong consideration if you're, if you're thinking about MVHR in your property. So thanks for listening and watching. Hope to uh, be back with more videos soon. Thank you.